Hey everybody. All right, let's see. Getting started. Did I start on time? Four minutes late today. I said 8.30. All right. What the heck? All right. I don't see us on yet. It's coming back. How's everybody doing today on this Monday? All right, so what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna start changing up what I'm talking about. So it's almost all been about my health and my experience is going, you know, with that, which, you know, has been a big part of what I've been going through these last few months. Um, but, you know, luckily, like, the surgeries have have went well. It looks like all the cancer's gone. And, you know, now it's time to start transitioning. Um, I'm trying to... We're trying to figure out with my doctors and with my work when I'm going back to work. If that's going to be soon. I'm, I'm not 100%. Um, but... Um, but either way, you know, I, I want to, I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to start changing it up because I'm going to focus more on my business. I'm going to be giving updates about what's going on with my health, but I'm going to be focused more on my business. Something I, I, I haven't been completely on top of because of my health, all my health issues, but, and I hate saying that because it seems like an excuse. You know, but I, I did go through a lot, so, you know, here we are. Uh, Jerry's on. Thank you for being on, Jerry. Um, so that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, what I'm transitioning to, and more into my business, and I'm going to give you an update on my medical, medical stuff. So I'm always going to start with an update on my medical and my health, and I'm going to, you know, go into some business stuff. So... The big thing that I'm dealing with right now is my cardiologist who I've been with for the last, I think, seven, maybe ten years, give or take. She is leaving to go to back east with her family. So that's that's uh, it's kind of it's kind of fucked up for me, but it's great for her. You know, it's it's just something that I, I, I really I really trust the lady. And she's an amazing cardiologist, and I was very lucky to have her all those years, you know. But I totally understand that she needs to do what she has to do for her, her family. And you know, it's great that she. You know, we had a conversation on Friday. I went to go meet with her, and we were talking about that. And we're also talking about, um, you know, I, I was telling her that I'm looking to do a podcast, and I've been doing these videos, so. You know, she did say that she'll be interested in coming on the podcast and coming on some videos. Um, so that's great. I'm, I'm working on... Um, I'm working on, you know, other people I could get on the podcast. I did talk to Jerry as another transplant recipient who would possibly be interested to get on the podcast. Um, so I'm, I'm working on some things that I, I really want. I'm passionate about. And, you know, I'll give you, you know, so for my, for the podcast, the whole idea is health and business. And let me know what you guys think about the idea. So for me, a major part of my life has always been my health and, but I've always wanted to do more, but I always had to make sure I am keeping up with my insurance and, and I can't be too, um, reckless with what I do. So you know, I'm gonna. I, I know a lot of people who own businesses or doing businesses. Um, a lot of real estate people. I was in a real estate investment club a couple years ago. Um, other people that have their own businesses, um, and and I know a lot of people in the health industry and a lot of people who are, are dealing with medical issues. And I'll I'll love to talk about how they're coping with everything. Like people like in my situation and um 
and you know people professionals who have a different perspective than just uh, the patients so that's you know a big thing that I really want to talk about and go over um, let's see you know uh, yeah uncertainty with doctors I had another doctor who was my primary care physician he retired two years ago about a year and a half ago two years ago um, it wasn't that big a, an issue for me because my main doctors were my cardiologist but it did you know it has been a little difficult because right now when I keep going to my health clinic with UCLA I have to I keep getting switched around to different people who really don't know me so you know it, it's it's always hard when you your doctors leave but you know usually they're leaving for for good reasons you know he retired he's been the other guy was a doctor for a long time and that's that's great for him you know this uh my my cardiologist right now she's she's a teacher at usc and she's you know one of the a great cardiologist over here and and me and her have a great relationship where you know i i think we'll be able to you the my community will be able to see her later um when I have her on so um, yeah so that kind of sucks you know when you're dealing with a, a doctor that's leaving um, another thing I'm dealing with is you know I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my prednisone issue I, I talked about that in a previous um, video um, and, and it's a little hard right now I have two different uh, Two certain, uh, two different doctors are saying two different things. One is saying I should change it, you know, I should take it off, you, you know, it's better for me. And then another one says, you know, you should keep it because it's not worth the risk, you know. So that's something I'm dealing with right now. Anybody else uh, on prednisone, use prednisone, uh, please let me know how how that's going for with you and. I know most people have not been on prednisone as long as I have. Uh, probably the only person who probably watches this is Melanie, um, and we've talked about that a little bit. And that's another person I, you know, where I'm, I'm wanting to have on later on, um, which I'll talk about later. She's another transplant patient and just a great person, um, you know. So the prednisone issue. Anybody has any feedback? Or anything please um, leave a comment ask a question you know all that helps um, before we get going any further please because I do put this on YouTube subscribe and like the videos follow my content if you like it please leave some feedback so I know what you guys are liking what you're not liking um, also on the Facebook group because that's where I I mostly put it okay so Jerry knows what I mean 19 years on prednisone yeah it, it's a uh, it's rough um, yeah but please like and subscribe thank you and anybody on the Facebook group if you think anybody else um, could use this group you know or what you know you all understand the direction where I'm going in uh, please send a um, send an invite to the group uh, we're trying to grow it and you know get more people on board there's a lot more things I'm working on a nonprofit that's been taking forever but we're doing it I'm still have the book at the public you know at the editors um, you know a mastermind group that I'm working on with a couple local people to start and then we're gonna grow it um, So I have a question. Anybody else, you know, that's watching, um, are you guys in business? What kind of business are you in? Um, for myself, I also like uh, I like the stock market. I, I'm not like crazy invested, but I do have a, you know a little bit of money in there, and I love talking about the stock market. Just the other day, I was talking to another friend, ex-coworker, um, Kiana, 
about it. I talk to a good friend, Michelle, all the time about it. And my other neighbor, Michelle, we talk about it a little bit, but she hasn't started investing yet. So that's something she needs to get on top of. Um, you know, and my friend, Michelle, um, she's somebody who we talk a lot about it. And she always gives me some interesting feedback because we, we think differently at times about it. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people in the real estate market. Um, that's a few other people I'm going to have on the podcast. Um, I was talking to a friend, Kevin, last week. And, you know, a lot of, because uh, he's in an investing group. And a lot of it changed with COVID and how are they um, moving forward with their business with all the changes that are happening. Um, I'm still in this program with Rachel S. Lee that I haven't been taking full advantage of, unfortunately, because of everything I'm dealing with. But again, I, I hate making excuses. Um, so, you know, those are the those are like the big things right now that I'm really focused on. Um, you know, so let's see, let's see. You know, and another big thing is, you know, going back to work, still having to deal with COVID. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. You know, it's something I'm talking to my doctors about. I'm talking to the legal absence department at my, at my company. And, you know, in the, these last few months, I've been like 90% at home. Um, so, you know, thank God I haven't, you know, caught COVID or anything. But, you know, I try to be careful, but it'll be different if I have to start going to work full time and dealing with so many people because I do, I will be around a lot of people. Um, you know, again, another question for people, are, are a lot of you working right now? Are you still off? How's that going? Um, the feedback is, will be great if, if, you know, just leave couple sentences or what's going you know if you can you know um let's see you know so that's basically it i just want to give an update i'm going to start doing uh more videos just, just more videos i'm going to start picking a day or two that i'm going to be on live every week um or probably a day to start that i'm going to be on live every week and hopefully you guys can tune in uh, again if you have anybody that you think may be good for this group or um, you know wanting to hear you know because I think the biggest thing about what what I'm talking about is no matter what's going on in your life you know stay positive have good attitude and don't get me wrong I'm not always positive <laughs> I don't always have a good attitude but I am very um, positive when it comes to my health. I'm very positive when it comes to having surgeries and dealing with medical issues. Uh, I may not be positive just with other stuff, like you know the little little things that irritate me. Um, and I and trust me, there's a lot. Um, you know, but that's a big thing. I'm gonna start uh, working with people more one-on-one -on -one and um let's see you know that's that's the big the big stuff i'm talking um the big stuff right now uh please leave some feedback and you know jerry thank you so much for being on and you know and and um leaving some comments i really appreciate it um as another softball coach. Uh, so, you know, have a great day. I'm going to get back on in a couple of days. And uh, good night. See you all soon.